Hi everybody. In today's video I am going to show you my Bing downloader that I wrote. This is a tool that allows you to download uh, automated downloads from bing.com slash create. I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you what we're going to do. Now I have the app set up. I have this. This is for testing. I have this is just a prompt I wanted to test. So what we're going to do the very first thing you do, like when the after you start the app, it's going to launch this experimental instance of Chrome. So you have to change the zoom to 150%. What you have to do is log in to Microsoft, and I'm going to just blur out my. This is not my actual email. Okay, so now we're all set up here. You can close all these little boxes. All right, so we're ready to start. Now I'm gonna run one at first because I wanna make sure this works before I do it. And the reason why I say uh, this involves a little bit of trial and error, the reason is the download button is in a different location based upon the length of your prompt how many words or characters are in your prompt. Now I wrote something that tries to figure out every 45 characters or so is a line, but that's that's not accurate, it's just a guess. It's like 42 to 47, somewhere in there, 48, but 45 is a good, good uh, average probably. And the, the line height is also a guess. But so if it gets it wrong, this column here is an adjustment. So you can always have it add 20 or subtract 30 or whatever you need. And I'll show you when we get to that part, it's coming up. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start and we're just gonna run one. So this will uh, type in our prompt and click the create button. And I have this set to wait 30 seconds. That's generally enough time. It's probably uh, more time than you need, but I'd rather wait more and have the image be there than not have it be ready if we go too short. Okay, so now it's gonna click the top left image, and now we're gonna click the download button, and it worked. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Okay. And each time it's going to click that little close box where the uh, uh, download little box shows up at the bottom of Chrome. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now it's going to go to the third image. And finally, the fourth image. And at the second half of this video, I'm going to show you why I'm creating these. Because I have an app called Stripe It that uses a base directory, which, which is really just a folder of images, and it uses random numbers to create stripes. Okay, so we created our first four image. Let's go look in that folder. And here's our four images. I'm going to go ahead and just have it run nine more and I will fast forward this and then I'll at the end of those nine more I will come back and show you stripe it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, that finished. So now we'll go look in that folder. Okay, 
So here's all the images. I'll just open one and show you that there is not a Bing watermark. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a program called Stripe It. And to do that, I need an output folder. So I'm going to create a folder here called Output. All right, and now we're going to run Stripe It. Use Base Library. What it's going to do is let you browse for a directory. So I'm going to browse for that folder again. Now I want it to have a random image for each stripe. So it's going to randomly pick an image out of that folder and then it's going to randomly pick a location out of that image and turn that into stripe. So there's basically 16 locations on each image. And now we're going to select the output folder. And this is really fast so it does look a little better to me with slightly bigger images so I'm gonna go like 24 to 128 and we'll do 10 because it's pretty fast okay now while this is running I'm gonna open up character creator okay so we created 10 in the time character creator opened this is one of them that I created earlier. These are the ones we just created, or I did. I think these look pretty good. It all kind of depends on what your base library looks like. These all kind of look a little similar. That looks pretty good. That is Stripe It and Bing Downloader. Let me know what you think. I'll put the link to both in the video description.